Was there another gunman involved in Kennedy's assassination? Of course, that's the question no one has been able to answer. But Robert Russell, like many other people, believes it was a conspiracy, it was a cover-up, and he's suing from his prison cell to have the case reopened. Never before in 25 years has this case gone into court. And I am accusing him of kidnapping, treason, and destructing his justice. They kidnapped the body of John F. Kennedy. And they couldn't get the body out of the They wouldn't let an autopsy be formed. They refused to let an autopsy be formed because the autopsy would have confirmed there was two or three rifles fired. Russell is serving time in Corcoran State Prison for credit card fraud and other things. He claims to know mafia members involved in the assassination and says Lee Harvey Oswald did not pull the trigger. In his lawsuit, he is not only asking that the case be reopened, he is also asking for a million dollars in damages. What makes Russell think he can do it? Because I have some information of who was involved and how it went down and who was on the scene in Dallas, Texas, through my old mafia friends, but some of them were dead today. Russell says he's not crazy, and he does have some credible sources to back up his push for a new investigation. Dr. Cyril Wacht, the first person to disclose that Kennedy's brain was missing, is encouraging Russell to follow through with the suit. Wacht, like Russell, simply does not believe in the single bullet theory and thinks the government is covering up. Russell wants Wacht to investigate all of the autopsy reports. Why can't we look at it? That will tell the truth. Or will it tell the truth? Some experts believe with the autopsy so fouled up and with Kennedy's body long gone, we will never fully know the truth. In Corcoran, John Baird, 47 Eyewitness News.